Hey, yeah, welcome back, guys. It's all about geography. Today, I want to show you how you can make a simple uh, logo, professional logo on your Android smartphone using your PC lab. And I'm going to show you step by step how you can present this logo on a Mac app using Photopea on the same Android smartphone without wasting much of our time. Let's get started. What we need to do is to come to the shape area, then we select this shape. Your radius, you can turn it to something like six or seven, so that it will not sharp. The edge will not sharp anymore, or you you can make it to be ten. So after that, you crop it uh, just as perfect as this. You can go there. Don't crop it without. After leaving there, just crop it inside there. Then after that, you do need to you check whether it's actually curved. So if it's not curved very well, you can make it to be fifteen. Then we have uh, it's not. Uh, we can we can reduce it to 12 so this is cool now you can copy after copy rotate make sure the first one was uh, using the relative position to align it to the center then you repeat the same pressure for the second one but we don't want it to be too uh, somehow long like this what can we do we can cancel this then we adjust this so that it will not be as uh, uh, long as that then we reposition to the center now we copy so we're going to rotate this after rotating reposition to the center now we have the perfect result of what we actually wanted so the next thing we're going to do is to just uh, merge the two so we're going to merge it together after merging you go to the color area then you enable the color for easy visibility we use a color that we can actually see or let's use a white color back so that we can do whatever we want to do with it so after that what method am I going to use? Increase your bezier tools as you saw it here. So after increasing the bezier tools, the next thing we're going to do is to just, uh, first of all, reduce the size to a bare minimal level. Then you move it, just uh, move it like this. So we want it to be moved, then we we'll adjust. So we we'll adjust it to come out here. So after the adjustment, then uh, this particular area, there will be something of this nature, cuff it. So here, around there should be like this, okay? Then we'll have something like this cross, okay? Perfect. Now, uh, this should be here, okay? This should be cuff then how can we now make this so we are going to do something of this nature move the arrow like this okay so move this like this perfect so that the first point will move up just as this the first point will move up just like this the second point will be able to move up just as this okay perfect but we allow it to be moving let it sharp let it sharp very well make this one sharp as well okay good so now what we what we can do is to just reduce the size so reduce it reduce the size okay good so now after that we need to move okay okay good so this side we need to move okay perfect you can reduce the size so that we don't want it to touch any of this area that is our own point just make sure that uh, it's actually in line with this so the same thing applicable to this so now we are we already achieved that we can make it calm down why this one we calm down as well so now we already achieved this okay it's already been achieved so after that, the next thing we are going to do, we are going to increase the stroke a little bit so that it will actually show. So it's perfect like this. So after that, we are going to click OK. Now we have the whole result, right? So what we are going to do to make it a perfect, we go to the mask, then we cut out the hedge. We cut out the mouth so that it will not touch anything. So we enable and we bring in the outer now it's cool right so the next thing we're going to do before we cut it rotate a little bit 
then after rotation we are going to reduce and i have it like a stick form here then you give it a color let's say white color then uh, what we are going to do is that we change this automatically to black so after changing it the first one is going to be changed to white because we are using it at the same time then this point uh, this line we need to produce uh, place it here so we place it properly let place it so if possible you can zoom it out for you to be able to see whether it touches any part because it was not and if it touches it to be uniform so now copy the same thing then position to the center first and move it position and repeat the same pressures as we did in the first one so we're going to check okay the uh, check properly okay guess it's perfect like this perfect so now we can go ahead we can go ahead by cut cut it out so go ahead come here merge everything together then we reduce the zoom should be reduced relax then you cut now we can see what we actually achieved so we see what we actually achieved then i'm going to be back because of one thing so i'm unable to measure the same size so it was supposed to go in just as this i can turn on my grid to make it a professional anyway so which means i will make it a uniform as this one touches that I will make sure that this one touches the line as well so we have the line to be touched okay so this is perfect now match everything together go to the erase color then you erase it now reposition to the center reposition let it go up then uh, we are going to have a shape let's have a shape for this then we have this dot just uh, form a dot form a dot just as perfect as this go to the color then you change it to black make the black to be more darker by moving this after clicking the plus sign move it here then you can now position it around the Okay, so position it around here, so you can reduce if possible, but need to be obvious, then uh, we copy, after copy, reposition to the center, so we we'll move it towards this edge, it has to be uniform, so position it, uh, everything has their own, it has meaning, then we can now merge everything together. So now the next thing is to position to the center, then move it up in three times. Now go to the text area, then you have we have T unlimited. So you can see. So after that we we'll go to the our default. The font you want to use, we can use an outfit or you will use a lex pattern. So I prefer to use a lex pattern, then I will space it a little bit. So we have a link unlimited. So after that, the next thing we are going to do, or we use a shape that can actually give us what we actually wanted. But this is perfect anyway. So we can use this font, but let there be little space. Or we might not let the space up to that reposition to the center okay so what we're going to do next is to give it a black color then with a touch of red stroke okay or you give it a then we change the color to this okay perfect perfect so after that the next thing we can do at this juncture we can now go in the best care ever that is the slogan the best care ever 
the best care ever. So we we'll make this one look uh, professional by going here. Look at the font we want to use. So let's use uh, let's say outfit semi board should be of perfect. Then we give a space. There should be a spacing between the letters. So we we'll reduce. We we'll make the space to be obvious. So after that, after this, the next thing we're going to do is to just uh, we 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 are going to leave a space. Your space set. Then we we'll go to the line. So for instance, we are going to position this here. For instance, so position it here. Just a kind of a line at the bottom here. So we are going to. And if possible, if you want it to be uniform, just spread it across, just as this. Then the first thing is to align it to the center. After aligning it to the center, we can now reduce the size. Then I will teach you what, I will show you what I'm trying to do now. So after positioning it here, we can now go to the opacity, reduce the opacity. Then we'll go to the mask. So getting to the mask, we can, we can, cut out this particular area just come in here cut out this particular area then we enable and cut out the inside not outside i mean the inside not outside so when you see the inside that is where the thing is uh, the text or the object inside the circle inside this line dot so you cut out the in then we can go back to the opacity we increase it then you can see the result if you don't like it how it was, what we're going to do is to just uh, go back, then we adjust very well so that there won't be more space in between it. So we can do something of this nature. Okay. So we can we can drag so that the space will not be too much. So let's see, let's get it. See. Okay, perfect. So now we can change this to color black. Then I'm thinking of uh, have it uh, stroke a little bit, so not up to like two. Then we reposition to the center. Sorry, we reposition to the center. After reposition, then we can go ahead by color this, giving it a red color, so that it can actually match. Then we are done with everything. As you can see, this is just a simple trick. But now you can come up with a professional logo, as you can see. So the first thing I'm going to do, I will save it with a transparent background, so that I will be able to use it on the photo page. So the second thing I want to do is to just uh, give it a background color here. Then I'm going to merge everything together. Then I'm going to adjust uh, the way I'm going to uh, uh, present it. So this is cool, right? So what I'm going to do next is to just uh, do something unique by making it to this side. Let's say to this side. Okay. Then send it to the back. Go to the opacity. Reduce the opacity very well. But let it be showing a little bit. So perfect. Let it be showing not much, but very small. Okay, perfect. So now we have everything at uh, at print over our tips. So you just allow it to show at one canal. So let's say uh, limited. Then uh, we make the whole shape to be showing by uh, reduce the size. Then we we'll go to the mask. We cut out. Sorry. Then we we'll lock. And have this to be increased. We we'll lock. Have this to be increased, which you can see right. So this will be at the center. Then we we'll position it to have it lock exactly like this. Now we can head in directly to. We can head in directly to our our photo P right now, where we are going to make everything work. So what we are going to do is to go to our Chrome browser. Then cutting that, we are going to go to our photo p www.photop.com. On getting there, we tap on the open from computer. Then we access 
where we have all our markup being stored. So the first thing about the markup use or, or usage on a smartphone is this. You must have an application to call Z Archiver because this for our markup is on zip file. It's on zip file. So you need to unzip it. And before you can unzip, you must get an application called Z Archiver. Download it on the Play Store. Then after getting getting this uh, uh um, the mockup after download it at the description of this video, immediately you download the tap on it. Are you getting it? When you tap on it, then it will bring out this set archiver you download on your Play Store. When it bring it, then you click on it to use it to open it. You will save it, then use it to extract it to your phone. You can check the previous video which I've dropped and explain on how to extract the markup there. Then after getting it, you can follow the step I'm using now. So because I've extracted this markup, you can use it directly without extracting. So tap on it, then you wait for your phone to load it. Once it is displayed, the uh, Photopea website will read the content, then it will show. After shown, then we can proceed with the editing. So we will be waiting a little bit for it to read the finish. When it's done, we can proceed. Now you can see, this is just a template. We want to place our own design and removing this. It's like changing the house. Where I put it before, it has no house. That's the reason why I remove the background. Now this one has house, then I love the house. I'll remove this content, I'll place my own. How do I do that? Click on the layer here and double tap this. I did. When you are, maybe you mistakenly open the window, just drag it to the left and you click close. Tap the eye icon beside this layer, close it, go to the file, go to open and place, go to the file, then locate the design we make with our we made with our phone now, which is on what? On our PCL. Now click the one you see with transparent background. Allow it to load. After loading, drag it to one side. Use this grid icon to drag it out so that the position it will increase. Are you getting it? So that you can increase it. When the result come out, it will come out well. Tap on the file and click on save with smart object. Double tap where my cursor is blinking. Then after that, you'll be looking at the screen of your phone. In no time, you see smart object of detail. Then you tap here so that the result will watch. You'll be able to view the convention, the transformation. Once it transforms, you can go ahead and save and we we'll do other things that we might need at there. Then we'll look at it and I will, I will still show you how you can look at the modification, whether you can modify anything there after the result is displayed. So I'm waiting for the result. Remember, I do tell you, before any data can be processed, it will go in through a simple process. So you can see the result is out. Let's zoom it out for what to see. So you can see how it look very, very okay. Now the next thing we can do is that we can go back to the layer Go here where we have a normal. You can click on multiply and see how it look. If you like it, you can go in, go to overlay or dodging or lighting. This is overlay. Then you check. Is it okay? And if it is normal you want, you can add. Let's look at the add light. Add light. Then you check it. This is perfect. Now click on file, click on export, and click on PNG. When you look at the result, it's robot. It can just click on save. View what we just did. Then you look at the results. This is awesome, right? This is how to make a professional logo on your Android smartphone using your PCLA. Thank you for watching. I believe we'll learn something from here. God bless you.